the Sturgeon Commercial Farm Headquarters. And we have about nine people on staff here. We do everything from rearing the larvae to growing out the juvenile fish, to growing out the adults, and to processing them here on site.
25 feet across, okay? So they're two years old, and they weigh about two and a half kilos each, okay? So multiply that by 2.2 to get pounds. So they weigh about four pounds, four to five pounds each, all right? Now you'll see some that are smaller and some that are bigger, but overall the population size is 2.37 uh, kilos per so fish. Now these ones were... Um, from plant restoration company that restores coastlines and um, provides plants to a whole suite of markets and they are growing the plants in the wastewater that remove and that removes the nutrients. Every day just about there's somebody in here processing. We do the fish processing here. It gets, I don't see any boxes here, but when it's all uh, completed they get uh, boxed up in styrofoam coolers on ice or if they're going up into the northeast they get in these huge box containers and they band them up put them on ice and then they'll leave and go out on trucks the wholesalers drive right here take the product away Depending on the research questions and what we're working on, it 
various times throughout the year. The next time I'm going to try to spawn this group is in April. I just really did the November spawn just to make sure that we have complete control, which now I know we do. Well, Redfish hatch. Yeah. The year is complicated. Redfish hatch is very much like this. The spawning part is much simpler. They have figured out so much about red drop that they can spawn those at clockwork. In fact, I called Chad up at the state hatchery often and say, I need a spawn on Tuesday. You can get to it. You can't do that with stuff. They're not as, uh, they're more finicky. They spawn two to three days after a full moon. They only spawn under certain temperature conditions, only certain lighting conditions. They have to have resting time in between. You know, it's a long thing to them. They, the red drum don't need as big a tank. You can have smaller tanks with uh, smaller numbers of fish, more broodstock groups. So it's more complicated with this fish. And every species is different. So there's lots of work to be done on every one. The facility under monies from the state of Florida to design a stock enhancement fishery production unit. Right now, my funding, I don't have any, I don't have a lot of stock enhancement. So I'm using it for some uh, research to work on wastewater treatment. And the fish I'm using is pompano. So in here are some, um, let me think how old they are. They're about six month old pompano. And there are one, two, three, three tanks at different sizes of these fish. And then we've got a, a big tank in the back got fish that are about a year old that are getting ready to go to market. And so the research money that's supporting all this work is actually to work on the wastewater treatment system. In the environment, what can we do to maximize production of both the plants and the fish together? And so in here you can see there's uh, Spartina way in the back, there's black junkets in the middle, and then there's mangroves here in the front. And this particular group of mangroves is a brand new batch that was brought in. These other ones have been in here for about four months. So you can go from here to here in about four to five months of time. It's incredible. We've been doing this project for a year now, and we have produced, I don't remember how many, but, but thousands and thousands of plants. And they have gone out for restoration contracts around the um, state of Florida. The water from that pompano system is flowing through here, going into this sump, then going over there, going over the building, and back into the fish system after it's sterilized. The waste from the fish accumulates in these troughs. This one's already, I think, been scraped off, but maybe not. He's probably letting it build up, but this is just, this is the fish poop. We scrape it off, we put it in that tote, the plant guys come, they take it, they mix it up with the potting soil, and it's fertilized.